Sandpiper Data Systems originally developed the Veilplex product for use by our internal staff in support of our customers' data center IT transition projects. There's a number of transition variables. You could have a physical relocation, logical relocation over a network, platform migrations, for example, ZOS to x86, uh, physical to virtual, Hyper-V to VMware, going to the cloud, all different kinds of transitions that you might be facing within your organization today. Every one of our IT transition projects begins with a simple question, where do we start? What you see on the screen here is actually a mid-sized hospital in the Midwest. Even though it's mid-sized, you've got extremely complex interrelationships, workload dependencies, IP connections, and other metrics that are gonna be very important to understand when we get around to actually developing the migration methodology and ensuring the transition is smooth and does not impact the business and is done with minimal risk. Sandpiper provides Veilplex to you as a set of virtual appliances that can be downloaded and installed in your VMware environment. Sandpiper will work with you to ensure that we're able to collect IP metadata and traffic information, IP address to IP address, ports, protocols, latency, VLAN information, and the actual time the transaction uh, occurred on your network. We'll merge this information with infrastructure metrics we'll see in the middle pillar too. This is information about your server, whether it's physical, whether it's virtual, serial number, operating system, CPU, memory, disk, also installed applications, things like is it SQL? Is it Oracle? What do you actually have running on this particular server? We'll also merge in business information, downtime tolerances, schedules, acceptance and validation criteria, everything we're gonna to need to be able to actually control the transition later on when it's time for the move event to occur. This is an example configuration of Veilplex installed on a VMware cluster in the middle we're able to track IP metadata from the physical switch that we have up in the edge over here. We also will track information from virtual switches inside VMware, whether they're standard V switches or distributed V switches or other kinds of virtual switches you may have like Cisco V1000 or open V switch. We also have Hyper-V ability to collect IP information traffic that's going on within the Hyper-V cluster. We also will track KVM, Citrix, Zen, uh, any of the virtual hypervisors that are possibly going to have IP traffic for servers on that particular host. So let's go ahead and take a look at creating a sample visual using Veilplex. Once you have Veilplex installed and up and running and you're collecting history information, we actually keep several days worth of history. The more storage you have, the more history we can keep. In this case, we're gonna select July 25th that uh, we're gonna analyze all the IP traffic on that particular day. We also have the ability to map SAN information to those servers, uh, fiber channel, worldwide name, those kinds of things. So we understand the disk workloads that are attached to the servers. Once we have the information uh, input that we wanna analyze, we'll then create IP and SAN filters, which takes us to the screen where we can actually select an IP address or a server name, or in this case, a bundle, which a lot of people will call a move group. Uh, I actually have a couple um, already predefined. Veilplex demo one will select. What will happen is the servers that are identified in that bundle will be loaded uh, in as using those IP addresses as what we call a seed. We'll analyze all the IP information from those three servers as a group. So in this case, 10.0.1.211.130, and then a server called VPL Web Server. We've been able to translate the name for Web Server to the actual IP address you'll notice is over here, 10.0.1.105. Once we have the information loaded as seeds, we can create a component diagram which is a lot like a Visio. Once we have that diagram loaded, you'll see it drawn 
here as an example. And all of the interconnections to those three servers we used as seeds are now drawn below. We're able to go ahead and analyze those workloads. You'll notice the color coding indicates the amount of load to those servers from the group that we had uh, defined as a seed. As we're analyzing these, if we want to remove a server from our view, we can click on the red X and remove those, and we can continue analyzing from that point. As we continue our analysis of this particular seed group, uh, we move our way over to the right. We'll notice some uh, different color icons. In this case, there's a red server. Uh, this is actually our database server that we're using for Veilplex within the lab. So we're actually able to color code and identify different uh, device types and uh, vendors and so on within your environment uh, based on some metrics that we have uh, defined. Um, if you'd like, we'll take a look over here at the uh, icon page. Uh, you'll notice that a DB server, a database server, is actually defined as a, uh, as a red uh, icon. There's a whole number of uh, icons that we're actually able to identify and track within Veilplex. Uh, not just servers, we can also track workstations, we can track the cloud, whether it's VMware, whether it's Azure, uh, SAP HANA, a variety of components that uh, we're able to track and visualize for you as part of the Veilplex solution. There's a variety of information views we're going to want to be able to take a look at within Veilplex. Uh, we're going to want to look at ports and protocols and time of day of activity and so on. However, if we're actually doing a migration uh, to a new site, one of the uh, big benefits of Veilplex is to be able to do network modeling so we'll understand what those workloads are going to look like in order to be able to get uh, those servers replicated to the new site. You'll notice once we have a, a workload defined, we've got a button called Site to Site. If we click on Site to Site, it will define a new diagram for us where we now have a yellow bar that's been added to the diagram. And everything on the left-hand side of the bar we're assuming is the current site. Everything on the right-hand side, they're called Site 2, is in this case the target site. You'll notice up above here we've got IP data metrics and SAN data metrics that we can track. And as we move the server to the new site, you'll notice the amount of data that's going to need to go across the network has now been calculated for us for that particular server from those servers that are remaining back in the original site. So we're going to know how much traffic we're going to have when we move that workload to the new target site for any workloads that have remained back in the original site. And this is a, a common occurrence as the migration is progressing until all the workloads get moved to the new site. This particular phenomenon to be able to understand and control and uh, uh, account for those workloads from site one back to site two and vice versa is very important to be able to do within Veilplex. There's quite a number of features within Veilplex we'd like to be able to demo for you as a part of a live demo, but uh, time is tight on this particular video. So what I'll leave you with, uh, in addition to the visuals we just got done uh, uh, viewing, we also have a uh, ability to look at metric information that Veilplex has programmatically collected for us. So in this case, we'll go ahead and uh, log into that particular metric collector server We'll notice the uh, device types and operating systems that have been discovered. Uh, there's a variety of ways to do discovery. Uh, we can do subnet, Active Directory, and so on. Uh, for example, if we go discover Active Directory, we'll be able to type in the appropriate credentials and uh, submit that particular discovery. It'll then start populating the Veilplex uh, database with that information that it, that it finds. Uh, a number of queries and uh, other reports that we've provided uh, within the metric server. Uh, for example, we've got device hardware and, and uh, software information. We've got information about operating systems and other device types. So in this case, we'll take a look at operating systems. Uh, you'll notice we've got Solaris, Linux, uh, some Apple servers, got some Windows servers. Uh, we're, at, we're able to chart a uh, diagram down below of uh, those different operating system device types if you're interested in that. 
If we click on Windows, we can then see uh, it within our lab, we've got uh, a Windows 2012, we've got a Windows 2008. Uh, if we take a look at the 2012, which is actually running our Hyper-V lab uh, in San Diego, uh, we can then go ahead and take a look at some additional information for that particular uh, server. Uh, you'll notice we have IP address, is it production, is it test, is it development. Um, we can look at some actual hardware details. We know what the processor is, we know the memory, we know uh, motherboard, we know hard drive information, a whole uh, slew of information that we have on each of these different servers. And again, the power of Veilplex is to be able to merge this information in with the IP metadata traffic information and, and interrelationships to provide a holistic view of what those workloads and move group bundles are going to need to take, uh, what are going to need to look like within your environment. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this video that describes uh, some of the capabilities and features and uh, uh, information that you could provide within the Veilplex tool. Um, the ability to do the programmatic discovery and uh, automatic application and uh, component interrelationship mapping is quite important to be able to do uh, in a very quick manner uh, when you're supporting a data center migration. A lot of other information we'd like to be able to show you in a live demo, um, software inventory, ports, protocols, uh, a number of other items within the Veilplex tool. We'd be happy to show you uh, in a live demo. Feel free to contact us at sandpiperdata.com or veilplex.com. Thank you very much for your time.